Funny thing is, I said last week that we're done talking about Gohan, right? Apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, and this is fucking bullshit. I'm not. I'm not even gonna lie. But it's weird because it's not that. It's not that I don't want to ever talk about him. It's just the last several episodes that we've had have have what has happened. We have like it's always been like a back and forth, and people just don't understand where we're trying to come from, and things are always or they're they're misconstrued and everything. So it's just like okay. I'd rather just put it all to rest one last time, going over everything. So if you missed out on last week's episode, definitely check it out, as always. Um, because it is it is something that everybody should really pay attention to and really try to understand the points that we're trying to make and to deliver. Because, again, it's not that we hate this character. I've said it. He is not even like on my low end. He's on his low end, okay? But that's completely different, okay? He And that's for dumb reasons, and that's all right. Because we at least acknowledge that, that, that much. So, what am I getting at? Well, I had a fan hit, hit me up directly on Instagram. So, if you're, if you're watching, you know who you are. Because I don't, I don't have it pulled up in front of me. Because I, I, how could I fucking forget this, okay? How could I forget this, okay? And this brings up, of course, Gohan, because it directly relates to him. However, this is a little bit more interesting. And I actually teased that this is what we're going to be talking about in the in the Discord. So, you know, like, our boy Kronos out here like, oh, shit. <laughs> He's like, fuck. What are y'all going to talk about? Possibly, right? So, here it is, right? So, we all know Gohan Beast, right? Everybody loves to claim that he's just it. He's just the best now, just by default, automatically. Just, you know, we're not going to get into it. That's last week's episode. Go ahead and watch that, right? However, he had a few distinct features to him that, you know, people called out. And now I'm a little upset that I didn't peep this when it initially dropped, right? But now, ho <laughs> oh, now, this is where people are most likely going to be like, oh, they're just hating. Oh, they're just trying to find anything. No. Nope. People have already been like that. Exactly. People have already been coming at our throats for no reason. Just because they think that we are haters, right? No, that's not the case. So, let me, let's, let's backtrack. Oh, let's backtrack, right? Let's go back to Broly for a second. Because, you know... Of course, oh, of course, you're gonna talk about Broly. Of course, right? Of course, right? No, listen, it's not. It's not about Broly. Okay, it's what happened in that movie. All right. So the one, the one moment that I love to talk about is when Brandon and I was in the theater watching the early week release that was only is invite only from Funimation. Okay, we were invited to see this shit before everybody else, and it was for free. I never, I always forget to mention that, uh, to leave that part out. I forget to, but whatever. We didn't have to pay shit outside of our transportation, right? So we're in there, and the part I love to talk about is when Goku shit, he farted Ultra Instinct. And when that happened, we were freaking out. We were freaking like going crazy. This man was holding my arm while it was happening, right? And of course, Fans like us, we're not going to not notice that. And clearly everybody noticed it. But here's what I did not fucking go back to realizing. Goku. Goku, when he sharded Ultra Instinct, we believed it was Ultra Instinct. Why? Because of the white hair. No. Goku shit beast, son. I so, said that shit... I said that shit months ago, like, on my Twitter. I said, uh, like, back when, like, Gohan's um, form first got revealed, you look at my tweets, I was I was clowning on everybody. I was like, oh, Shigaraki did it first. Oh, Goku did it first. Oh, this nigga <laughs> did it first. <laughs> I was literally calling out everyone with white hair and red eyes. <laughs> and there you have it. What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is, and, and here's the thing, right? And this, and this is what makes it worse. I don't think they intended to even do that. No. I don't think so. I don't think that was but intentional at all. 
but it happens, right? So what do we do when things just happen? Well, that's what we have to work with, right? So since it happened, whether it was a fucking accident or not, whether Goku literally had the shit stains to prove it, okay? The point of the matter is, is that Goku literally did it first. So let's just say that he stayed in that form. All right, let's just say that he did. I mean, I'm sure it, it would have given Broly a hard time. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But again, to me, this just seems like, okay, well, it almost seems like Beast is something that's trying to force itself into Ultra Instinct in in a weird way. And that, and that might not even be it. But the ultimate point that I'm trying to make is that Beast is here, and then everything else is above it, okay? Because, like, because think of it this way. Did Goku go Beast in fucking, in the manga? No. He was worried about mastering his Ultra Instinct, which, of course, we see him do several times and has variations, alterations, thriving Ozaru. He, he's got all of that. So it's just like, okay, well, here goes Gohan. He had, you know, he was put in a similar situation. And I say similar because Piccolo orchestrated that whole fucking movie. He practically wrote the script so that he could just see Gohan transcend in, in whatever way he possibly could. But then Goku, he was just trying to, he was, <laughs> he was trying to fucking survive Broly with Vegeta. So that's why I say similar situations. Except Gohan needed to fucking see somebody die first. Or look like they died. Not to say that we haven't seen that with Goku. But you know what, you know, you get, you get what I'm trying to say, right? So, so Kai, like, what do you... I mean, you already said, started saying it. But, like, what, what do you think about this? Like, th this shit resurfaced literally, like, last week for me. Yeah, nah, that for for me personally, that's old news because I've been clowning on that shit for months now. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, when I when I first saw it, I was laughing my ass off because I because I went back to my my statement that I've made in a couple episodes where it was like anything uh anything Goku can do, Vegeta can do three months later. Well, up oh, here you go, like another one, you know. I obviously that's not that's that's not what happened. That's not what they intended to do. But I mean. It's it's a little too close for comfort, so we're just gonna roll with it because that's what we that's what we were given. Facts. I don't. I think Beast is Beast is just a meme. I think I think all of these forms are just memes. I think that <laughs> since that, I, I think ever since the TOP, this has gotten dumb, like mm. irreversibly dumb. I think that I like I like the direction that the show is trying to take by giving everyone their own unique form because it's like at first it was you know being a super saiyan was crazy and now we have to find the best version of super saiyan and now we have this whole world of gods but now he's trying to like create individuality with people's forms so now we have ultra instinct ultra ego we have beast we have orange piccolo we have black frieza we just y'all just want to throw the fucking rainbow skittles bitch taste the rainbow <laughs> like this is ridiculous <laughs> this is, he just wants everybody to have their own fucking color so that they can just because he, he, it's like he said like the hair color don't matter these none of these colors matter it's just it's just to create something new to get people hype and it's like, all right, cool. You're still, you're still doing your job. You're still doing what you're supposed to. I mean, people are, people are still here for it. It's Dragon Ball. At the end of the day, whether you like it or whether you don't, I promise you're probably here for it. And for reference, if you don't know where he's getting that from, where he says colors don't matter, your boy Toriyama said that himself. Okay. Right. He said he. That's that's what we, we've talked about this <clears throat> in previous episodes, um, in regards to trunks, and the whole hair color debacle. Why he's going purple? Why he's going blue? That whole bullshit, right? And out of his own mouth, he said, things like hair color don't matter to me. All right. <laughs> All right. That got me fucked up. <laughs> so, Brand, what, 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 how, what do you think about this whole Beast's bullshit now? I don't even know, to be honest. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> oh, that's that 
good shit. 